In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to solve a series circuit problem. So before we get started, the math for solving a series circuit problem is not very complicated. You just want to make sure you know the concepts well before you get started. So let's do a quick review. Um, the current that flows through the circuit is going to be the same everywhere throughout the circuit. It's not going to split up into smaller amounts. Um, number two, the voltage, the individual voltage drop sums up to the total. So the total is 20 volts. So it's going to drop all 20 volts and it's going to use a portion of that 20 volts through each of these resistors, the three ohm resistor, two ohm resistor, and the five ohm resistor. And finally, the resistance is the, um, the total resistance is the sum of the individual resistors. So because the electrons move through the entire circuit and there's only one single path to make it through the loop, the total resistance it feels is the sum of all three because it has to move through all three resistors. All right, so there's a particular order that makes this a little bit easier. So I would definitely go with the resistance first, the current second, and then the voltage drops third. And we're gonna be using Ohm's law, which is V equals I times R, voltage equals current times resistance to solve for most of our values. So first of all, we're gonna find the total resistance. So let's go ahead and sum up those resistors. So I went ahead and summed up those three resistors, which is pretty simple. I just add them up and got a total of 10 ohms. Now what I can do is find that total current and I'm gonna find the current by using Ohm's law. So I found my current of two amps. All I did was take that total voltage of 20 volts and the total resistance of 10 ohms. And then I took V divided by R and then I got my total current of two amps. And I only have to solve for one current because there is only one loop, one path. So then that means the rate of flow throughout the entire circuit is gonna be the same. So we have two amps flowing through any one of the resistors and also through the power source. Now, finally, we know that a portion of this 20 volts is going to be dropped throughout each of the resistors. And how do we do that? We use Ohm's law again, which is V equals I times R. And I know the individual resistances because they're labeled right by the resistor. And I also know the current flowing through each one of them because it's that same number. It is two amps. So I can go ahead and multiply I times R for each of them and find the voltage drop. Okay, so I multiplied my current and resistance and the product of those numbers gives me my voltage drop through each one of the resistors. And I got six volts, four volts and 10 volts. And the voltage drop should get higher as it moves through resistors with a higher resistance. So the five ohm obviously has the most resistance out of the three which means you need a little bit more energy per charge to move through that five ohm resistor. And then you definitely need a lot less to move through the two ohm resistor. And the final thing that I wanna do just to double check my work is I wanna add up all my individual voltage drops to see if it equals my total. So I have six volts plus four volts, which is 10 volts. And then plus this final 10 volts is 20 volts. So it does match up to this 20 volts over here. Now my numbers did work out pretty cleanly, but sometimes if you're using fractions or decimals and you do a little bit of rounding, you might sum up your three voltages and it might come out slightly above or below 
your total voltage value if you did some rounding, which is okay. Um, you will have some variance there if you do a little bit of rounding. All right, so to sum things up, you wanna make sure you know your concepts well. The math isn't gonna to be too difficult. You're really either just adding, multiplying, or dividing some numbers fairly quickly. So you wanna make sure that you're aware that the current is the same everywhere because we have a single path and one loop, that the individual voltage drops equals the sum of the total, which is right over here for this problem, it is 20 volts, and that the total resistance is just adding up all those individual resistors. And it is definitely beneficial to work them out in this order of doing the resistance first, the current second, and then the voltage drops third. I hope that was helpful in helping you understand and solve a series circuit problem. Thank you for watching and listening.